Good morning. On behalf of the faculty, the students, and the alumni, I would like to welcome you to the first virtual commencement ceremonies in the history of Georgia Southwestern State University. You know, those of us who work here at the university, we understand that a college campus is a wonderful place. There are many special and exciting days. We usually get to enjoy the art shows and the plays, the games, and the opening night concerts. But twice each year, we come together to celebrate our most important and exciting event, commencement. Georgia Southwestern's campus is full of extraordinary men and women, and we cherish our unique position from which we can watch you grow and develop both in knowledge and in maturity. And because of this, we take tremendous joy from your successes and great pride in your accomplishments. All of us at GSW are proud of you and especially proud for you. You know, each year when new freshmen arrive, we challenge them to take a full load of classes, get involved on campus, and stay on schedule to graduate in four years. Four years ago, President Patterson challenged you to stay on course, and this year, there are 72 graduates who will be receiving the gold presidential challenge coin for graduating in four years. If you are among that group, I say congratulations and well done. And I hope that you enjoy the coin and know that it signifies your hard work and staying on, on course for graduation. And while we are certainly proud of those young men and women who met the challenge and who represent a large portion of the GSW student population, a group that is very traditional in their age and traditional in the way that they experience the campus. There's also another group of students that I want to, want to recognize at graduation, those students whose, whose path to the ceremony today took a different route. You see, the GSW student body is diverse, and each of you have a unique story. Maybe you're a single mother, Maybe you had a health issue you had to overcome. Maybe you are the first in your family to, gradu to graduate or even to go to college. So for all of you who followed that broken road to our ceremony today, I may not be sending you a gold coin, but I want you to know that you have my admiration and my respect. Graduates, whether we are in the storm dome together or seeing each other through the computer screen as we are today. Today is your day. We know how hard you have worked to get to this point, and we know that you have, without a doubt, earned the recognition you are about to receive. But that moment when you get the urge to pat yourself on the back, that is the moment you should think about and recognize all those people who made sacrifices so that you could be successful. No achievement comes without sacrifices. And many of you were able to attend Georgia Southwestern because of the sacrifices of others. And I know that many of those people are with you today. They are excited for you and they are ready to celebrate this accomplishment with you. It might be your mom and dad, or your grandparents. It could be your spouse and your children, or your brothers and sisters, or it could be all of those people combined. But no matter who they are, I know that for each of you, there is someone. So graduates, I hope that you will take a moment on this day, on your day, to thank those folks who helped you along the path to the ceremony today and to your graduation. I also want to take a moment to recognize GSW's faculty. GSW's faculty is an outstanding group of professionals who take great pride in their work and in their students. A substantial percentage have earned their doctorates and in many disciplines have brought Georgia Southwestern not only statewide, but also regional, national, and international recognition. 
They care a great deal about each and every student they teach. And I know they wish they could be here with you today to celebrate in person. I want to thank them for their hard work and their investment in your future. And graduates, I hope that you will join me in expressing your appreciation to your faculty members. You know, when I arrived at GSW in the summer of 2017, many of you were preparing to start your sophomore year. You welcomed me to campus and helped me become a hurricane. In fact, in the fall of 2017, Hurricane Irma visited campus, shut us down for a few days, caused several thousand dollars worth of damage to the campus. And then in the fall of 2018, Hurricane Michael came calling. It left billions of dollars in damage all across southwest Georgia. It shut campus down for over a week. Some of you may remember being in the residence halls with no power, cooking food on the charcoal grill so that we could eat in the cafeteria, and huddling around the one generator that we had so that you could charge your phone. And now this year, your coup de grace, we lost three months of your final year to the coronavirus. Seasons were canceled. Concerts were called off. Parties were missed. So together, we have been through two hurricanes and one pandemic. You know, now that I think about it, you guys were a pretty destructive class. I'm not sure that we'd survive another year together. But of course, that's not all true. None of those things were your fault. They were all out of your control. All you could do as students was to meet the challenges that came your way and find the strength to keep going. And by being at this moment today, you succeeded. And in truth, you did more than just succeed. You triumphed. And along the way, you transformed GSW. During your time at GSW, you launched the very first undergraduate research day. You introduced the long-term care management degree and helped the nursing program become the number one nursing school in Georgia. You reestablished the freshman convocation, hosted Surge Fest, ignited soccer under the lights, and you cheered our golf team to the number one ranking in the country. You were the first students to complete winter intercession courses, to take tomorrow by storm, to eat waffles with the weavers, and to finally learn what's in the cup. As students and soon-to-be graduates, you have done more than just overcome. You have thrived. You have met the challenges that were in front of you, and you didn't just make yourself better. You made all the people around you, and you made your institution better. The truth is, across this country, only about 50% of the students who start college ever finish. For many people, the challenges and the obstacles of completing a degree are too difficult. We often explain it by saying life got in the way. But I think that makes it sound too random, like life didn't get in your way when I know it did. So what's the difference between you being here and not being among the population that started and never finished? The quote from Walter Lord that I chose to put on the envelope that we sent you for this ceremony tries to explain it. He said, even against the greatest of odds, there is something in the human spirit, a magical blend of skill, faith, and valor that can lift us from certain defeat to incredible victory. By earning this degree, you can be confident that you have that magic blend. You not only increased your knowledge and skills in your academic discipline, 
but you also tested your resolve, you sharpened your focus, and you formed your character. So the next time you are in that job interview, you should be confident, not only in what you know, but also in who you are, what you will bring to the position. You should tell your soon-to-be boss that you don't shy away from challenges, that when times get tough, you will deliver. And at the end of the day, your involvement will make the organization or the business a better place to be. Your diploma is more than just a piece of paper. It's a symbol of what you are. It's proof that you have what it takes to be successful and that no matter what life puts in your way, you will overcome and you will experience incredible victory after incredible victory. I want to offer my congratulations on your graduation and let you know that we are very proud of you. And we thank you for your contributions and your investments in Georgia Southwestern State University. Now, let's begin with the conferring of the degrees. I would like to ask Dr. Suzanne Smith, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, to lead us in this process. Thank you, Dr. Weaver. It's my pleasure to celebrate you in this unique way today as we acknowledge what you have been through to reach this graduation ceremony. I look forward to seeing all of you on August 15th when we can celebrate this academic milestone together along with your family and friends and other people that have supported you along the way. About 300 candidates are being recognized today as having completed the necessary requirements to receive a diploma for specialist, master's, or baccalaureate degrees awarded by our four colleges. And now it's my pleasure to begin the conferral of degrees. Georgia Southwestern State University provides the following degrees which will be awarded today. The Specialist Degree in Early Childhood Education and Middle Grades Education, the Master of Science in Nursing, the Master of Business Administration, the Master of Science in Computer Science, and the Master of Education, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Business Administration, the Bachelor of Fine Arts, the Bachelor of General, General Studies, the Bachelor of Science, the Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, the Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and the Bachelor of Science in Education. President Weaver, on behalf of the faculty of Georgia Southwestern State University, I present for the conferring of degrees those candidates who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for their degrees. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Consistent with the statutes of the state of Georgia, the rules and regulations of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, the rules and regulations of the University System of Georgia Board of Regents, and by the authority vested in me by the Regents, it is my pleasure to confer on each of you the degree listed. With all the rights, ranks, privileges, and responsibilities such a degree carries among scholars. Congratulations. Now that all the degrees have been conferred, it is my pleasure to let you know that from this day forward, every time you wear your graduation cap, you can wear the tassel on the left instead of the right. And I know you'll be wearing it around town today, and so I encourage you to wear your tassel on the left. And when you come back to see us on August the 15th to celebrate a commencement ceremony with us in person, wear your tassel on the left. We're proud of you and we're excited that you're a graduate of Georgia Southwestern State University. I hope to see you on the 15th. Until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, and go Canes.